Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today, we are doing the same thing that we did a little while ago where we did the no sanity challenge with only tier one items. However, that was terrible because the tier one items absolutely suck. So in this one, we're gonna compare it to the tier three items. We're gonna be doing the exact same thing, no sanity on nightmare mode, but instead of tier one, we're gonna be running tier three. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Oh, let's hop into the game. Let's go. Oh baby, uh, Kenneth yeah. Johnson. So it's just regular nightmare mode. The difference being that we have no sanity. Uh, we do have sanity pills because I'll use one just to show you. These tier three sanity pills give you infinite sprints. <laughs> so while you hear the heartbeat, you don't run out of stamina. Now there is a bug with them that if you're already out of stamina and you use one of them, it doesn't give you stamina. It only prevents your stamina from draining out. So make sure if you're using them during a hunt, not to run out of sanity first and then use, or stamina, sorry, not sanity. Uh, run out of stamina first and then use them. Now let's start off with the tier three incense as well. We're just going to go complete sicko mode. What did they do to this? Excuse me? <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> What happened to the incense? It looks so fucked. What? Gravity? Please? Hello? Gravity? Someone? Oh, no. In the dining? Normal speed? Hello? Are you- you're not a yokai. Wait, you might be a yokai, actually, smudge. Run through. Uh, I don't know what is happening. This seems very weird. TJ told me that would happen. I mean, this doesn't seem like this should be the resting position of the smudge thing. <laughs> is my game broken? Wait, is it a yokai? Hello? Okay. This is the easiest. This was not supposed to be this easy, but it's already showing that the tier three items have a little bit of an advantage over the, <laughs> over the, oh, hi there. Dude, that's awesome. Over the, um, the tier one items with the tier one this was terrible this was like uh because in my opinion it should be a yokai or maybe it's a mimic in my opinion the game has gotten significantly harder if you are a casual gamer and you're starting out because the tier one items are absolute garbage the tier one crucifix is bad tier one smudge sticks are bad all the tier one evidence items so the reason by the way why that was a yokai was because it couldn't find me during a hunt at all it was just like running around aimlessly without uh going to where i had my flashlight turned on uh which made it really obvious uh but yeah the tier three items i think the tier three items obviously all around are better there's a few that i think uh can sometimes be a little annoying the tier three incense can actually get you killed sometimes because let's say you're trying to hide in a room and the ghost walks into that room and then you tier three smudge it it stands still in that room and you're like ah what do i do now you have to run away from that area you can't just smudge the ghost and then hide in the same place because obviously it's going to stun it uh and just keep it in the same area i will not let's not use a an incense this time let's just start with normal items um and then also the tier three thermo as well as the uv light don't really feel too amazing compared to their tier one counterparts but everything else is incredible especially the writing book the spirit box all the evidence items are just the dots projector uh it just makes such a big difference if you're running uh tier one or tier three. Oh, hi there that's in the basement oh my game never mind it's fine Ghost in the basement. Normal speed. Hello, hello, hello. You see how it's instantly coming to my location? That is not a, uh, not a yokai. Some slightly lower. They fixed the Obake fingerprints, by the way. I'm upset. I'm just going to run into the ghost room now. Goodbye, because you're not going to be able to hunt me forever. There we go. I need to see which of these ghost rooms is the actual ghost room. Did I forget to put on my head cam? I did forget to put on my head cam. Uh, oh, wait, what? Wait a minute. It turned on a light. It did turn on a light. It's not a mare. That's actually amazing. I'm going to run out of here, though. Uh, so they changed the Obaka. You know how I said a while ago that there is a trick that allows you to tell if it's an Obake, 
by listening to the footsteps. If the footsteps suddenly stop, oh God, it's haunting. If the footsteps suddenly stop for a little while and then come back, that means it's a, like the Obake shape-shifting. Oh God. Um, but they fixed that now. Feels bad, man. I thought that was actually intended. This is scary. I feel so much safer with the, like knowing that all my items are gonna carry me here. All right, goodbye. We're fine. I was just gonna stop hunting any second. I'm leaving, goodbye. Uh, when we played this with tier one, we barely got any evidence. We were having a tough time. I think it was also because we had some hard ghosts that had like dots and stuff. Um, but you're going to see a big difference here. Like the, getting the evidence is going to be so much easier. Stopping the ghost from hunting with this guy is going to be so much easier. Let's grab these two and then throw down a crucifix. And I should put this on before I forget it again. Because this is amazing. This is actually my favorite item in the entire game. I need to do like a no flashlight, no breaker challenge at one point, which isn't very hard, but just, just for fun. Uh, obviously tier ones are bad, but on the opposite spectrum, once you unlock the tier three, the game has gotten slightly easier. So it's harder. It's like a weird way it works now. Like, oh, hi there. It's harder for new players and easier for veteran players, which feels like it should be the other way around, but I guess that's just how it is. Uh, no fingies. That burns in my hand. I look for Orbeez. I think it's just in this hallway. Is it freezing out here or freezing breath? No Orbeez. I could die. I'm playing very silly here. Okay, no Orbeez. No, no Orbeez. All right, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna leave this all here. Turn on my head cam, which is actually incredible. Some people are, I heard that some people think the head cam, like the, the night vision isn't very good. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like by far the best item in the game. It literally unlocks. It gives you an extra inventory slot basically. Cause you don't have to carry a, a, a flashlight around the whole time. Amazing. They are doing, they're going to do their 9.1 patch very soon. And that might have some changes to the way leveling is going to work. Because they've obviously observed what's going on and like, oh, it burned your crucifix again. Uh, and they might make some, some balancing changes, which is going to be cool. Okay, it's 3.9 and the crucifix is gone, right? Oh, hi. Photo. And spirit box, or I don't have spirit box that take that i'm gonna run out of here it doesn't even feel like i'm playing no sanity right now because of that crucifix the not only does it have a way bigger range but it also uh has two uses rather than one we do also have a cursed possession but i don't know there's only a few cursed possessions that you can use while having zero sanity all right we'll take the spirit box and then we'll uh, let's see. What could it? We don't know anything. Motion sensor. I'll take a motion sensor just for that objective. Um, yeah, a lot of ghost hunting games that aren't Phasmo give the player a built-in flashlight, which I mean, I'm I can see arguments for either case. I'm fine the way it is. I'm fine having to pick up your flashlight and have it in your inventory. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Let's check for fangies. Oh god. What the fuck? Okay, scary. Is it somehow hunted outside of crucifix range? Done. It's gonna be able to find me with my head. Head cam, by the way, you have to be very careful. It will attract the ghost when it's on your head. And it won't tell you if the ghost is closed. It doesn't glitch out or anything. So sometimes you'll be attracting the ghost to your location and you'll have no idea that it is happening. Yeah, probably not a demon based on that behavior. Also, there's obviously a lot of ghosts we can rule out here. Raichu, Moroi, Diothe, the twins. Yeah, I think so. All right, you done already? Let me slide something. It hasn't turned off the breaker yet. Uh, it's, it is definitely in this hallway. Did it try to stuff on my motion sensor? It did. 
I didn't get to check fingies here. I don't think it's fingies. So no fingies, no orbies. That's a combination of evidence we can rule out. So we can click on both of these and rule out all of these guys. Or no, did I say freezing? I meant UV. I, I'm all over the place right now. There's also no freezing though. <laughs> so we can rule that out as well. These two. Okay, so that is quite a few ghosts ruled out. It's not a phantom, obviously. Uh, oh, use the cruise to fix. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Quick work math. Lots of EMF. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? It's also not spirit box? What? It almost... Oh, okay, dude. Well, there goes all my crucifixes. I might have to grab a smudge here. I think it's smudgy time. Guys going crazy. Like just the fact that when you put one of those in the ghost room, you basically stop the next two hunts. It's incredible. And this is a massive room. Like with the tier one crucifixes, I would stand absolutely no chance in that room uh, stopping the ghost, especially stopping it so many times. Uh, we're going to grab a mud stick, which are apparently now really bugged out. Are we going to get dots from here? Because I feel like this could be gory, you know? Oh. Oh, no. Wait, was that Dots? Wait. Was that Dots in the back? I think it was Dots in the back, right? It was very sneaky. Okay, so we do have Dots. <laughs> All right. Nice. Um... Okay, it's probably a Goryeo then, but it could just be sneaky dots in general. We've already tested Yokai. It's not Yokai. We can test for Wraith easy peasy using the using the salt. And then for Oni, we just have to pay a little bit more. I don't think it was an Oni. So just go it's going to be a classic Goryeo with EMF and dots. I'm telling you, Goryeos have almost become easy now. Even though they're, they're, they're like the hardest ghosts in the game. They've almost become easy because if you're playing Nightmare Mode and you don't get any evidence... It's a Goryeo. Every time. Almost every time. Yeah, that's how I figure out that it's a Goryeo. Ah, here you go. Oh, what? Is that EMF 5? EMF 5! <laughs> I mean, I, it was going to happen regardless, but okay. Um, so there you go. It is indeed the EMF 5 dots Goryeo, which is the one that... Or maybe it's not a Goryeo. Maybe it could still be a Wraith, technically, right? You give us a sign. Maybe it's Wraith. Hello, hello. Ghost, ghost. Oh. Never mind. It's... Wait, it's an Oni? I guess I could have seen that from the very beginning. Never mind. I saw Goryeo dots. Unless the head cam counts as... Wait a minute. I don't think that's what... I, I assume the head cam doesn't show you Goryeo dots. Otherwise, that would be insane. <laughs> All right, come on, ghost. I need to see these Oni dots or Oni Oni uh, blinks so I can show them off. It does not, CJ has said. Okay. Uh, why is it not hunting right now? It was hunting permanently before. I haven't smudged yet. I'm holding my smudge. Can you give us a sign? It walked in the salt. Yeah, I know. That's why I rule out Wraith. It should be Oni. So what's really indicative of an Oni, let's smudge it, is these blinks where it like ghost blinks in and out oh god i can't barely see it like super quick in super quick succession this is oni right yeah it's like visible basically permanently there's some long blinks in there but um you're looking for those short blinks like you can also just count them if you count the blinks if you have kind of an idea like if if you count the blinks for an oni and you count them for a normal ghost and you count them for a phantom you will obviously see which one is the oni and which one is the phantom uh but it's easier for me to just look at the frequency like how fast does it blink is it faster than i uh, than i remember is it normal or is it slower uh that is oni normal ghost or phantom there you go oni indeed a 2000 just is just a simple nightmare mode with uh some no no sanity attached to it i mean it wasn't simple when we were doing this with tier one items but it's simple right now because as you saw, the tier, th like that's a 
good example where if I were to have like that room right there, if I had the tier one dots with a tier one video cam, no shot will we have gotten dots down in that hell hole. Um, I'm actually still impressed that we got dots in the first place. Don't forget my head cam. I've just unlocked this yesterday, so that's why I keep forgetting it. Because I didn't have to use it before. Hi, buddy. How's this? How are you doing, ghost? I'm gonna just smudge you right away. I wanna find out where the ghost room is. What curse possession do we have? Arrow cards would be useful. Nope. Ghost. Not hunting. Guess I'll turn on the breaker. Ah, uh, down there. Yeah, I don't know how this. Oh, it's down here. Wait, huh? Is it snowing? Maybe it's snow weather. Oh. Is this a miling? No. What the fuck? I? Oh, you are creepy. I'm gonna smudge you. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's actually gonna kill me. Here, I don't know how long this hunt was. I'm gonna die. Run! Oh my god, okay. So ah! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Okay, I smudged it at <laughs> 8.25. Dude, that was insane. <laughs> Jane Lynn, thank you for the 16. <laughs> that got me good. I don't you don't see that often. That's my it wasn't an Oni, right? It didn't look like Oni blinking. Uh okay. Well, uh, we know it's probably in the garage. At least that's what it seemed like. I'll grab a oh wait, huh? Oh, I have the lighter still. Whoops. I don't have a smudge, so I don't need the lighter. Let me just grab this real quick. Damn. Um because it was back there the whole time. That's another like terrible ghost room for the tier one items. So the tier three items really get the shine here. Uh, there is Orbeez, right? Orbeez? Orbeez. Okay, good stuff. And cold, but not very cold. Grab some more stuff. And Cam coming in clutch. It could be hunting in 30 seconds here if it's a normal ghost. Do we need to be careful? Yeah, it is snowing. That's why I was cold in the basement. It wasn't actually the ghost. You need to keep that in mind. The weather, that's such a cool thing. Now on the new update that you actually have to like pay attention to the weather. Like it feels like you're actually doing a proper investigation and uh, you have to keep track of many different variables rather than it being so one dimensional. I'll just put, actually, put this on real quick. If you don't know what nightmare is, by the way, I saw some questions. That is when you you only get two evidence. You start with 100% sanity, though. You start you get two evidence, um, and you don't get your sanity chart and your activity screen. And the ghosts tend to be way more aggressive. And um, also, the orbs are still here, right? Also, roam way more than usual. Oh, hi there. Stay back there, please. Jesus Christ, you are one active son of a gun. Yeah, you can rule out. So this is a really important skill on uh, on nightmare mode. If you, let's say that it wasn't, let's say that we know for sure that it's not freezing in ghost orbs because on nightmare mode, um, the ghost will only hide one evidence. Since every ghost has three evidence, if you know that two of them are impossible it can't be that ghost right because it could only be hiding one of the evidence it can't hide two evidence so if i know it's not it's not ghost orbs and it's not uv or something these ghosts will all have at least one of these evidences on nightmare mode if it was insanity mode it wouldn't work this way because there only there's only one evidence on insanity mode um but because it is nightmare mode and it can only hide one and not two if you can rule out two evidence, you know that all the ghosts that have two evidence, that those two evidence, yeah, it can't be. It's a little hard to explain, but it like, um, it's just like, it can't hide more than one. So if you know it can't be two, then any ghost that's hiding, like, 
any ghost that had both has both of those evidences is impossible because it couldn't hide both. Yeah, you need to. So for, um, it's the same with professional, right? It's the same with professional. On professional, the ghost can't hide any evidence. So if you know it's not UV, you can click on UV and rule out all the ghosts that have UV. You can also just double click UV and rule it out that way, right? But you could do it this way as well um, because the ghost can't hide anything on professional, but they can hide something on, on uh, nightmare mode. So if I know, like, if I know it's not UV, that doesn't mean that these ghosts are impossible because it could hide UV. It could hide the UV evidence. So if I just like click this, I double click this, I rule it out. That's gonna like, could potentially give me a false positive. Um, but you can't do that. You need to be a little bit smarter about it. UV has bamboozled you? No, I mean, it can't. Unless you're like super slow. It, the UV happens 100% of the time, unless it's an Obake. All right, let's grab our smudges now. I guess we could also, this room is massive, but I guess we'll grab a cruise fix. Ooh, Captain, thank you for the sub. Like, I'm trying to find different ways of explaining it because it's just really hard to, like, it's really hard to explain it to someone that didn't understand my first explanation. Okay, dude. Because that's like the only explanation I got. Oh, you turn on this light switch. Uh-huh. See? UV light, UV light, UV light. There. No fingies. A lot of mare as well. Is it still here? It is potentially out here. It is maybe out here. Wait, we can check with orbs. It is indeed out here. That's such. Ah! Nothing? Oh no. What the fuck, man? <laughs> You're scary. No Gorio. No, I mean, it can't be a Gorio with ghost orbs anyway, but. Yes, yes. Crucifix does work well in hand, yeah. McGarren, thank you for the four. We'll grab another. So bright. We'll grab another one of these. Uh, can't be right, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we'll grab another writing book. Now, can you tell if it's a hunter or a ghost event? Just assume everything is a ghost event. Because if you run away from a ghost event, so what? It doesn't matter. But if you assume a hunt is a ghost event and you stand still and do, don't run away, you will die. Like the the downside, the only downside of, of just assuming everything is a ghost event is that it you might miss the ghost photo, right? That's all. But that's not that big of a deal. Dying is a way bigger deal. Did I say a ghost event? I meant hunt, yes, sorry. It's when I'm like thinking about 17 things at once. Uh, my brain gets inter interlocked with facts and it just all becomes one mush. I know not much activity. Can you give me a sign? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? From behind. Nice, okay. It could be Mimic, but it, and it has to be freezing because it's, wait, let's check for fingers again. I don't think it is Mimic. We should grab a candle before it uses up all these crucifixes and we go, fuck. Oh no, there's only one more. You have twins that disappear during a ghost photo. Uh, so the way that the phantom works is that it will disappear before you take the photo. So if you look at the book and either you can see the ghost in the photo or you can see the glitching effect on the photo, it isn't a phantom because you took the ghost photo uh, before it disappeared. If it is a phantom, you'll still, it says ghost photo, one, two, three stars. And then the photo will be literally like this. It'll be completely clean, no glitching effect at all. Uh, and there won't obviously be a ghost visible on the photo itself as well. Um, what do I need to do? Nothing, I did everything. I'll grab another dots, I guess. But yeah, so you probably, because what can happen is that the ghost disappears right after you took the photo, and then you might think it's a Gorio when it, or you know, when it, that it's a phantom when it actually isn't. I right, place this ASAP. No, where's my lighter? Ah! There, 
Come on, don't don't use the crucifix, please. Okay. There we go. Should be fine. So I mean the problem with the tier three crucifix is that it's too big. It is too big for Onrio. Like the Onrio could be far enough away from the candle that it can still hunt. But then close enough to the crucifix that it still gets stopped. So I I technically can't rule out on Rio here. I am going to do it. Uh, but I could be baited here. And it can't be a Maris or just a Yokai? Wait a minute. Because they're turned on the light, right? Easiest game of my life. Let's do a Yokai test. Uh, we had another. Grab this. It's going to be tough, though. All right, Ghost. It's time for you to hunt me. Or mimic, but then it would have to be freezing. Which it is one degree. Can you give me a sign? But yeah, let's uh, quickly correct what I was saying before, because I was making some mistakes. If you're having trouble distinguishing ghost events and hunts, assume everything is a hunt, because there's no harm in it. Only thing that can happen is that you missed a ghost photo. Whatever. Um, and then I would. I would suggest that every time you think it's a hunt when it's actually a ghost event, you can take note of what happened. Like, how could you tell that was a ghost event and not a hunt? Usually you can tell because the doors close, clo close by immediately, like they immediately slam shut, the lights turn off or something like that, or the lights turn red, something like that. Because a ghost event is, or a hunt is completely quiet. It only does the like, the sound of, of the ghost event or of the hunt. Um, without slamming any doors close by it's not gonna immediately walk towards you um like it, there's a grace period right you need to identify uh you can tell that something is a hunt and not a ghost event because there's a grace period for a hunt can you please hunt me though red light yeah red light ghost event that's how you can tell that it's not a hunt and a ghost event instead you need to distinguish between the two based on uh, what the, like, what? Ah! Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Now I have to bait you upstairs here. All right, come up. Come up, come up, come up. And then I could hide here. What the fuck? Why did my flash light up blink for the longest time there? What was that? Wait, is it not a yokai? Is it a mimic? Wait, excuse me? We have ghost orbs and spirit box. Maybe it is. Maybe this is a good example of Onrio being. Wait a minute. Maybe it's like exactly what I was talking about. That you can't rule out Onrio if you're using the tier three crucifixes. Wait a minute. Or it's mimic. I don't think it's mimic. I think this is maybe. Unless. I need to grab another smudge. Huh. Let's uh, grab one more smudge, do that again. If this works twice in a row, I'm just going to go with on Rio. That's interesting. Yeah, you could also add more. Oh, wait, I don't have. I have this one. You could also add more candles. Very true. Um, and she think of the 12. The tier one would probably the tier one lighter would or uh thermo would probably be better in this situation yeah oh, hi Fuck. you chill Wait, what flashlight <laughs> flashlight <laughs> what it's making the sound, but it's not turning off. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh god. Come up here, come up here, come up. Why is it not blinking? What's going on? What the fuck? This is actually fucked. Hello, hello. Oh, it is a yokai. What? Okay, I guess it was just really unlucky before. Okay, never mind that. <laughs> unlucky. Okay, so it is a yokai. All right then. Well, 
Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on on that then. We'll have to keep an eye on the crucifix candle interaction if we get ever get an on Rio. Uh, this way, but that should be a yokai. It was completely stupid. Is that that's our second yokai in like three games here? Uh, what the fuck? And we got all objectives again. Look at that. Or it could be a mimic. This is very weird. The way the <laughs> smudge stick looks now. <laughs> Don't know why they made it this way. I just yeah, there you go. We were right, nineteen hundred again. Good stuff. Alrighty, uh, we have doors. I I still hope that we eventually get a uh, an on Rio so we can test for it. Uh, I should really be starting with the. Can I please? You know what? Let's do even crazier. Let's start with a smudge stick as well as a crucifix. We're going in there full demonologist mode. Uh ready to exercise whatever this demon is wait and then i forget my head cam. <laughs> lol that's a pretty vital part of this strategy <laughs> without that i'm just running around in the dark all right ghost we don't have music box tarot cards no tarot cards oh, oh there you are there you are wait i can i can throw down the crucifix was that this door? I don't like it was this door. Uh, maybe not. Uh, all of these doors are closed. Hello? Oh! Hi there. Okay. I'm gonna smudge. I'm gonna smudge the 2350 here. Um, and we're gonna set up our stuff. And we got our crucifix in place, dude. I should, I should use the tier. Like, you can do a challenge where you just... Like the no hunts challenge, but like the no hunts challenge in a different way than like the friendly ghost challenge where you need to prevent all hunts. If you fail, you lose. If the ghost hunts at any point, you have to die. <laughs> like that would be a very silly challenge. But you could do it. It'd be interesting. No sanity plus no hunts. And you still have to figure out what ghost it is. I mean, then obviously you would have to do that on professional mode. Otherwise, it would be stupid. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? I'm going to just go hide there. She's definitely there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right. We got a spirit box already. Nice. Dude, we're getting some crazy ghosts. I love it. Any objectives? We're just knocking out these objectives without even trying. Paramike? That's unfortunate. I'm not gonna do that. Have this, this. I still don't have a flashlight in there because the head cam is just all you need. Have I ever done a streak of getting the ghost right? I mean, that streak is like hundreds. Like when I. And that is all during the first year. Because during the first year of this game, there were only 12 ghosts. Oh, hi. And every single... Uh, and the highest difficulty was professional. So what I would do every day for like an entire year was just play professional, get all the evidence, click on the ghost. And there was also no mimic, so there was no trolling. You would literally just get every single ghost correct all the time. Like, that's how it used to work. Now it's way easier to make a mistake because there's way more tricky ghosts out there uh, and there's just a way more of them but back in the day only professional mode only um like always getting or only 12 ghosts just made things so easy Jews the crucifix hi there all right could you give us a sign oh oh no Oh, I have a hiding spot. Is that early enough for spirit? You lost the challenge. That's not, we're not doing that right now. Already pal, thank you for that 20. Uh, I think the ghost is still haunting. I didn't even turn on the breaker. I should really turn on the breaker. I think it might just be, 
Let's throw this out here. Just in case. And then quickly find the breaker. Not a breaker. Oh, it's yeah, it is in the living. Oh, fingies! All right then. Wait a minute. <laughs> we got fingerprints and spirit box. Could still be a mimic if there's orbs. Yeah, we need to bring these out. This is a very aggressive ghosty. Run. I for spirit box out here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Wait, maybe? Maybe not? Did it just throw something? Eee, never mind, it is in here. Alright, you're fucking trolling me, dude. Okay, let's see. It's four degrees in here. And six degrees out there. Try again. Dude, this fucking thermo, man. Like, the, 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 the lack of precision just makes it so difficult to know which is the ghost room here. I look for Orbeez out here. Please don't kill me. Hmm. I mean, Phantom, Poltergeist, or Mimic. We could just rule out Poltergeist and Phantom, right? And then if it's not those, it's Mimic. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, the breaker's off. That's also why. Alright, let's set up a polter check. Boom. Boom. Yeah, it would be... I mean, I don't think... Because, like, something like Ghost Watchers... I haven't played that game in a while. Uh, they have, like, special ghost events where you get dragged by the ghost. And from experience playing that game, it's honestly only annoying. It... It ceases to be scary after the first time it happens to you. The first time it happens to you, you're like, oh my God. And then every time after that, you're like, shut up. This is annoying. A paramic and a smudge stick. Actually, just focus on smudge sticks. They obviously have plans to make the game more spooky. Like the horror. Oh. Wait, no, it's not happening. The horror 2.0 update which should be coming next year right so it's hunting hello come over here there you come wait it's a phantom <laughs> right you can barely see the ghost yep see how the difference between phantom wait i didn't light it light it please the difference between wait it's also kind of a poltergeist But it's a no! Oh my god, I almost died. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> like the difference between Phantom and uh, Oni, I mean, the difference between Phantom and Oni is insane. Like, if you hold them side by side, one is basically always visible, and the other is basically always invincible. It's like unmistakable. I think. So, uh, Phantom, I feel like almost no one has problem I problems with identifying a Phantom because it's just, like, the most obvious thing. But people do have trouble identifying an Oni, and I think the reason for that sh shift is because a Phantom is annoying. An Oni isn't annoying. The ghost being visible all the time is only really useful. It, it makes the game easier. So you don't, like, have that, like, instant recognition where you're like, Why can't I see the ghost? Oh, it's a Phantom. You don't you don't have that like that click in your brain right away. Benjamin? Because you don't complain about it. I you know what? We do the same thing. This is the way to go. Absolute gamer mode. Hello. Should try to turn on the breaker this time. We can use the temperatures better. Hello? Oh. Upstairs? What? Oh, fuck, was that upstairs? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's so good. 
<laughs> I love this game, dude. And they fixed it. Yeah, they did fix the Obake footsteps. I just smudged it there. Uh, when you smudge it with the tier 3 smudge sticks, the footsteps stop. Uh, until it starts walking again. That was amazing. Well, uh, all right then. That was insanely fast. Absolutely busted. Turns out tier three items are a little good. It could obviously be mimic, but what are the chances? One in twenty-four. Come on. Hey, Rainbow, what's up? There you go, Obaka. So I mean, I don't think that needs an explanation because everyone saw it. But the Obake ability is that it like changes into a different ghost model for like one blink. It's so cool that they have this like wide variety of things you can use to identify the ghosts. Like no game, like, there's so much variety in the game. Some ghosts you figure out by using their footsteps. Others you have to look at. Others you have to uh, do specific, like in you have to look out for specific interactions. So many different strategies. Oh. Hi. Alright then, I'm gonna smudge you real quick at 3330. That's fast. Photo? I didn't have a photo cam. Yeah, the smudge is bugged right now. I don't know if it is bugged. I think this is... So... The way the smudge works, obviously they're gonna change this back. They're just testing it out to see how many people complain and I'm already... I can already tell you that hundreds of people are complaining. But the smudge has a hitbox, which means that if you crouch with the smudge stick, that hitbox hits into the ground and pushes you to the side. That is that thing that you've probably noticed if you played with the tier three smudge stick. And they have removed that hitbox. However, without that hitbox, apparently physics don't work. So if they don't have a hitbox, you cannot, like there's no physics that are applied to the object, which means that it can't, uh, move around based on gravity So it's either you crouch down and the smudge stick pushes you around or You apply a hitbox to it uh, or you uh, have this like static Smudge that doesn't move around because right now I can move around crouched Without being pushed, but if this was the old smudge, I would get pushed around all the time, which is really annoying Um I prefer this one, but they're probably gonna go back to the other one <laughs> because people are gonna be complaining constantly. This is obvious. I mean, I just feel like they. I don't know. 90 seconds in smudge. Thank you guys for timing. I'll take another smudge then. And I'll take this. Actually. I mean, I'll just take another smudge stick. Other items still push you, like the paramic. That is a weird one. Why does the paramic push you? Why does the paramic need a hitbox? Or gravity? Oh, what is it? Some kind of banshee? What the fuck? What are you doing out here? All right, no screw. Never mind. It's fast as fuck. Is it a thing? Okay, well, uh, never mind. It's not a banshee. That was really fast. Oh no! It was still hunting. Okay, it's over now. Uh, I think it's. I think this. I think it's over there. In that room. And it did a ghost event all the way over. Why did it do a ghost event that far away? Hello? This is where the tier... Yeah, it's definitely here. This is where the tier 3 smudge stick is actually gonna be... I mean, we could test... If we time it... So, if you use a smudge stick on a ghost, it, it stuns them for 5 seconds. If it's a Moroi, it stuns them for 7.5 seconds. So, we'd have to count very accurately to see how long it stands still. To know if it's a Moroi. Oh, we got these hiding spots, too. I'll quickly grab my stuff. Uh, Orbeez? Orbeez? Nice. Alrighty. Oh, hi there! Dude, the fucking movement was cursed. Did you see that movement? Insanely cursed. Right, set that up. Where are you? Are you here? 
Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Oh, uh, okay then. <laughs> the dots would never be this easy if we were using the tier one items. Holy shit, you are crazy, lady. You gotta calm down. It could, it couldn't be a mimic anymore. So it's definitely a Thay or a Raichu. Uh, we're gonna have to turn off all our equipment to see if it's a. Uh, See if it's uh, a Raichu here. I think that's definitely Thay. Oh, it used the crucifix again. But we can test it. I also really want a flashlight here. Without the flashlight, I'm doomed. There's no electronic here. And yeah, this goes to be a bit crazy. Yeah, the ghost events can teleport very far away from the ghost room sometimes if you got an aggressive ghost. Like, I mean, this is relatively close to the ghost room, but still, that is pretty insane. I should really be grabbing this. It's gonna hunt any second. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Obviously, it's a stay here. <laughs> Scary as heck. Alright, ghost, come on. Try and kill me. Come over here. I want to see your speed. Hello? You, you, no, you're not done. Oh, it's over now. Alrighty, well, never mind then. I'm out of here. Thays are so scary. They. I'm so happy that they finally fixed Thays. I... Like... Uh, Thaves used to, for literally as long as they've been out, they've been broken. The way Thaves are supposed to work is that the, like, as soon as the game starts, they're at their most powerful. They're really fast and they're also super active. However, they messed up the activity. It was, instead of being super active at the start, it was super shy at the start and then got more active the older it became, which is the complete opposite of how it was supposed to work. Uh, but they finally fixed that in the Ascension update. Uh, another easy game. I mean, we're getting some pretty good ghosts here. Uh, let's actually do Camp Woodwind. Since Camp Woodwind is such a difficult map. For tier 1 equipment. So we want to compare it. Uh, we got Grand Hunts. What a name. I'm going to just hold my flashlight here. No memes. Hello, hello. I can't pick this up, but I don't think it helps much on this map. Cause it's, I mean, it does, but... It's just scary, because there's not many ways to hide. You mostly just turn off your equipment, and that's how you hide on this map. Just pretend that you're not there. We got that high spot. We got a hairball ghost event. Hello there. We got a flying boner. Another? Oh no, that was freezing breath. It's snow weather out here. If this is a Hauntu, we are fucked. It's all ogre. This is super boner. Now we are 0% sanity, so this could genuinely still be a shade, even. Can you please hunt me? Hello, hello. I mean, I could just put a crucifix out there. But I'm a little scared. I just want to smudge you. Oh, there we go. Almost speed. Naked! Not a Miley. Hello? What are you doing at the fire over there? You're getting faster. Not a haunt here. And a smudge. Ah, oh, shit. Right here. Oh, it's over. Okay. I don't know if it was a yokai. Not a phantom, not a miling, right? Uh, I should just. I don't know. Did it, it started from there, I think. I just put this over here. Put the lighter over here. And I didn't time that, but you guys have been crazy with the timer, so thank you. Hey, thank you for the 11. 
we'll start setting up and definitely grab our crucifix. Oh boy, <laughs> that's gonna be nice. I don't, I mean, there's a lot of things that look like ghost orbs, but I, oh, hi. Very loud. Okay. Are you good, buddy? How do you even get dots on this map? <laughs> like, if you have a campfire ghost? Maybe the tier 2 dot sensor is slightly better in this situation. Pretty nice. Thank you for the 14. Uh, we'll grab all of this stuff. This ghost is very active. I don't have another smudge. It threw that there. Wait a minute. It threw this. Oh, no! Wait. What are those footsteps? What? What is going on? Is this a Obake? Is it? I, they said they fixed Obake. It has to be an Obake, right? They said they fixed that. This is Obake. It's just broken, I guess. They they said in the patch notes that they fixed it, but they didn't. Just fucking lied to me, straight to my face. I mean, unless this is not an Obake, but it sure as hell sounds like it. Am I crazy or did they not? I need to read the patch notes right now. Obake footsteps can now be heard correctly during hunts. No, unless, unless this is not an Obake. Let's, let's test for it. Uh, Cause it's, it sure as hell sounds like one. All right, buddy, come on, hummy. Hello? What? Dude, I thought it was hunting there for a second. I was like, why is it invisible? Okay, <laughs> scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Finally? Let's see. Come over here! Yeah, it is totally an Obake. You see that? It became bubble face there for a second. Okay, <laughs> me when I spread misinformation on the internet. Hehe, <laughs> let's go. Ah! Me when I write patch notes that contain lies. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, obviously no bug. <laughs> Still bugged. I mean, I wish they would just keep this because it's like. You know how cool that was? That was like we figured out Obake without seeing it, which was really... I mean, I guess it makes sense that it's a bug, but still, I like it. I, li I like... It's a fun bug. It's a bug that gives... Like, I think... I've been pretty consistent in that. Whenever something is bugged in a way that allows players more... Like, it, it gives more mechanics that the players can exploit, um, it's better, in my opinion. Like anything that introduces mechanics to the game, even if it's bugged, it's more fun for me. Because it just allows the player to show their skill rather than uh, like taking away. Like I don't like how so often the devs take away things. Like the mayor ability where the mayor could not turn on computers and TVs. Like they took that away because, oh my God. Yeah, the paramic bug slash feature. Okay, well, it's not a yokai, probably. Not a phantom. You can clearly see the blinking, but it's also not an oni. Okay. I didn't smudge. You came from over here somewhere. I didn't know I have my crucifix out in my hand, right? Came from, I think, the nursery here. Are you here? Hello, hello. Do we have the smudge objective? We don't have the smudge objective. Otherwise, I could smudge and see if it hits. I'm just gonna go. 
I wonder how that happens. Like how they think they fix something, but then it's not actually fixed. Like I wonder if they just forgot to like push the changes or if another change broke it again. It's interesting. It did actually speed up. I was... Um, it should be really cold here. So, oh god. So it can't really be a Hantu. Like, the, it's snow weather and I didn't turn on the breaker. We would gotten, we would have gotten destroyed by a Hantu. Yeah, we can uh, rule out Obake this time. We didn't hear any special footsteps. We can rule out Dio, Moroi, Raichu, Thay, Revenant, Phantom, Oni... I would say Hantu as well. I'm miling. I think we can rule those out, but grab this thing and then I guess we'll grab all this. Crucifix is gonna protect us. Crucifix on on a small map like this is just powerful. Uh, riding. Let's go. Well, that's right. Nice. Awesome. Our first ghost riding that's a because we haven't gotten to show that off yet but the ghost riding book is so much better than the tier one version because not only does it have a bigger range but it also increases the chance of the ghost interacting with it in the first place so it's just all around way 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 better i should actually grab this first like i've had times where i walk into the ghost room i place two tier three riding books and it'll basically wait why the fuck did my flashlight work oh here why does it make this sound but it's not turning on that's so silly where are you are you here are you close where are you are you here are you close are you friendly are you french where are you are you here are you close are you friendly are you French? Hmm. What are you doing? Yeah, no. Just in, I think it's in this hallway. I'm gonna have to grab another smudge here. Or another crucifix. We, it can't be on Rio, so we don't have to worry about that. We only have writing. Grab another smudge, grab this. And I mean, writing book we already know. I guess we should move the dots here. Couldn't be Wraith. Could it be dots? It can't even be dots. What the hell? Okay, never mind. Dots is impossible. Um, could be mare. Could be demon in this situation, so I don't even need to worry about the dots. I'll just worry about objectives. Motion sensor? Sure. Yeah, maybe demon. We could uh, do the silly test we did before on demon. Because it did also hunt instantly as soon as we stepped in here. What we can do... Let's see if this is still the ghost room first. Uh, thermo, thermo, thermo. Wait, do I even have a thermo? What the fuck? Excuse me. Where did I leave it? Under here somewhere? Oh, come on! I don't know where my thermo is. Um, oh, it's here. Next to the camera? Oh, it's under the photo cam. It's two degrees in there. I didn't turn on the breaker. And it's three degrees in here. Let's move this crucifix to over here. Not doing anything. Oh. Okay, is it? It's not a mile. It didn't get stopped there. Okay, not a miling. I can hear it clearly. Can you come over here? Poltergeist check. I'm gonna loop it and then go... Sorry. Run. Oh, fuck. No! I fucking tried to go through the door, but I messed it up. <laughs> Lol. Almost killed myself. Okay, well, at least I smudged it. <laughs> Wait, why didn't that work, by the way? I did break the door, but I didn't get through it. What the fuck? Why didn't that work? In the moment, it just didn't want to push the door. Weird. Interesting. Anyway, um, I smudged it, so now we can test for demon potentially, and we really should turn on the breaker breaker ASAP. I think I genuinely was like, if I waited half a second longer, I would have been dead as hell. 
barely saved myself. Let's see. Um, out here, it is three degrees in here. It is 0 0.7 degrees. Okay, so this is definitely the ghost room. You give me a sign. It's not ghost orbs then. Sphere box? What could it be? EMF? Where are you? Oh, it's 0 0.7. It has to be freezing. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, of course. Anything below one is freezing. Yeah. Look at that. Any, if, as soon as you see anything below one on the thermo, on the tier two or tier three one, you know it's, uh, it's freezing. Okay, good stuff. So it's shade or demon. It seems very unlikely that this is a shade. This would be the most aggressive shade the world has ever seen. I'm gonna place it there. If this crucifix stops the goat, the hunt from the nursery, would definitely be a demon. Demon could already hunt though, right? Come on, go. Oh. Wait a minute. What? Is it a shade? Might just be a shade. Definitely not a more or a revenant. What? The most aggressive shade of all time. Hello, hello. I'm not gonna smudge it again because I wanted to hunt again. So, can we calculate this somehow? Because I feel like, look at this. This, I, I measured it out to be right at the corner of that, right at the corner of that. So there's gonna be a half extra on top of this. This corner is to how much I measured it out, like right here, plus half if it's a demon. That should cover most this ghost room, right? If it is, I feel like this cannot be a shade unless it's just bugged crucifix. Like, I feel like this probably still is a demon and there's just a... Like, I, I've said this many times. Um, and I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. But because the devs... The devs could take five seconds. Look at the few lines of code that determine the, the demon ability and know if it's broken or not. But I've had a feeling for the longest time that the demon ability is broken. That the demon just hunts way too close to crucifixes. Um, but they never believe me. They just like fucking gaslight me every time. They're like, no, you probably made a mistake. And I'm like, are you serious? You're not even gonna take me serious at all. <laughs> if this doesn't stop the ghost, it's definitely not a demon. Like this has to stop the ghost. It is so close. It's like already in the ghost room. Oh, uh, I mean, that's so tough. I guess it is a demon. I guess it's a demon. I'm gonna say it's a demon. If it's a shade, that makes a lot of sense. I just feel like it couldn't be a shade based on the aggression. Like, how would it... Like, I would feel... I mean, actually, it can't be a demon. It just has to be a shade. If this is a demon, it's broken. Like, because obviously that crucifix before like i moved it too close to the room now like it was too close to the point where a, a shade could also just use it it's probably still gonna be a demon and then i'm oh no it is just a shade all right never mind that explains that explains that it was indeed not broken okay at least this round we didn't get an example yeah there you go that shows how good the ranges of the crucifix by the way like the fact that that right there which was like far out of the ghost room still stopped the shade from hunting in the ghost room it's it's like it's disgusting how big the range is grab this we got edward lavender let's go um very aggressive shit though by the way holy jay was was mad all right buddy you want to kill me Do we got cleanse we have cleanse we have repel Breaker, break it downstairs. Uh, 
there, sh there should be a significant difference between the shade and the demon hunting even at zero, yeah. And we would have noticed it, for sure. If that was a demon, it would have been hunting more. But it was just fairly aggressive for a shade. Hello, buddy, why are you not hunting? Because as soon as we stepped into the map, we instantly got hunted. Uh, hello? Anyone here? Because the demon will always... Because the shade becomes a normal ghost when it reaches 50% sanity. Oh, hi there. Okay, then. I guess I'll throw this down. And run. Maybe shade? <laughs> that I was... Maybe... Oh, come the fuck on! How? It's a quiet sound. I hate this sound. Hello? I think I baited it. Not a yokai, probably, because it was coming straight for me. Right, I think it's in this area. In that room. It's done. probably not a demon. Given the fact that that crucifix didn't stop it. Uh, it's been throwing quite a bit. Maybe poltergeist? Wait, let's see. It looks like a big mess in there. A big old mess. Oh, it's using the crucifix. Very angry. I'll just let it... I'll set this up real quick. Should really just smudge it and do some evidence collection. Let's let's just get one more hunt. Then we'll smudge it. We'll throw the crucifix back in. And then we'll do evidence collection. All right, come on, buddy. Let's still turn this on. Even though I also got night vision. Just makes it even brighter. It's just very scary because the... Um... Did you just throw some... Are you a banshee? Wait a minute. Oh, my... Is this... This might be some fan- and this not phantom, but it might be banshee or wraith Okay, it's definitely not a poltergeist. What the fuck? I'll smudge it I have my head cam still on. Oh god, I'm freaking blinding myself Oh god Stop Thank you. Okay, I smudged it. And now we need to quickly set up, uh, throw this here. Set up some evidence. I feel like this might be Wraith or Banshee. Which means we are probably gonna have to find dots, which sucks. But we do have the tier 3 dots. This is, like, way, way, way easier than the tier 1 version. Which makes sense, but kind of wild how much it matters. Uh, we'll grab all of this. So the reason I think it's Banshee is because that was obviously the ghost room back there. But it... That's the second time it has come towards me. Uh, and it used this crucifix as well. Let's see, any... No Orbeez. Where are you? Are you here? Is it here? It's called... I mean, it's kind of cold everywhere. It's not cold there, so it could be here or there. I'm just going to run. Run. Wait, I'm confused. Why does the... Huh, wait, I need to... I need to talk about this because I... these are the type of minuscule differences that annoy the shit out of me. So if I turn on... If I turn on the EMF and I rotate my items, it turns off. If you turn on a UV and you rotate your items, it stays on. Why? Why is that different? Same thing with the spirit box. If you rotate your items with the spirit box on, it'll stay on when you swap back to it. But why is that not the same with the EMF? Oh, I am DC'd. Whoops. My... Hi, YouTube. How are you guys doing? I did completely didn't... Ah! I'm dead. Oh my god, this is such a wraith. What the fuck? 
It has to be a wraith, right? <laughs> That's insane. Oh. That was literally on top of me. Yeah, I just gotta be careful. I, I can't die. Imagine I died there. I would have been able to delete the VOD and no one would know that I died ever. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. I'm just gonna grab... Uh, my mouse didn't want to move there. I'm just gonna grab some salt. Oh, the chat's moving again. F, I don't know what happened. We're reconnecting. Was it my... Oh, it was my internet, or was just Twitch being a uh, weirdo? Hey, welcome back. Oh, let's grab this for potential banshee. We're okay. We're okay. We're back. Uh, it's definitely a wraith, guys. Refresh gamers. It, as soon as you guys got disconnected, it hunted right on top of me, like right on top of me. It was terrifying. I started crying and screaming. But you guys missed all of that? I'm just kidding. The stream is back. Oh. Wait! It's a banshee? What? Okay, then. Never mind. It has to be a banshee. Wait, what is banshee? It's gonna be... The behavior here is insane. It has to be UV and dots, probably. Oh. Um, excuse me, tier three crucifix, could you please do what you're supposed to do? Is a... I swear I heard Obake footsteps there for a sec. Fuck. I guess not. You guys being annoying. Uh, get the rib cage. Anyway, uh, I guess I should just touch this door. It should be UV, right? What? What is happening here? Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to grab more items. <laughs> Fuck. Could be Mimo. Yeah, I was thinking that for a sec. Uh, Alright, okay. grab these guys, because we're definitely gonna need. Let's see. Dots, probably. The fix is they gave Obaka steps to all ghosts. Hey, Azelza, what's up? I right, take this. You're gonna be in. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be in this room. Like, look, if you. Oh. What? But now it's back there again! Right? in the basement what the fuck what is this ghost dude uh, the most roaming ghost of all time this is unbelievable the fuck <laughs> it was back there then it was in the hallway then it was in the kitchen then it's in the basement what am i supposed to do Alright, so you're in the basement now. We're never gonna get any evidence against this ghost. Well, at least we know it is not a Gorio. <laughs> That's something. Oh, I know why it sounded like Go or like Obake steps because of the... Because of the salt. The salt made it really slow. Still very cold there. Not very cold there. Alright, let's move this. Oh my god. Basement again? I guess basement is just the ghost room now. That is very annoying. It was in the best ghost room, and then it just... Well, not the best, but one of the best. Hi, right, buddy. I mean, it just sounds completely normal. Really would love to get spear box. Or any okay, okay, run, run, run. Place the place the crucifix down there. Should really smudge it as well. I right, take that. Yeah, the Abaka stuff should not happen anymore, but they do. Because we t we literally had it like two games ago. 
They said they fixed it. Yeah, that's what I said as well. <laughs> I, was, I was in disbelief as well. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Ah! Oh! Ah! It's in the fucking left storage hole! Dude, what is this roaming? This roaming is ridiculous. It went from that room to this room to this room to that room to that room to basement storage. Goodness gracious. Come up here. Hi, buddy. No sponge. Okay, stop. All right, we smudged at 1344. And then we move even more, I guess. Move all your stuff. I haven't even been like, turning on many lights, though, because of my night vision. It's over here, right? No, it just hunted from there. It's like such a weird ghost. What the fuck? Right, right in this damn book, please. I think it's still hallway. Uh, and then we'll grab. I should really test for fingies. Video cam. Go, go, go. Let's see. Can you give us a sign. Up there. It could hunt if it's a demon. Not orbs. Not orbies. I'll place this here for potential. Did I throw my flashlight? I did. For potential Gorio or something. Well, it can't be Gorio, but potential dots from the truck. Um, can you give me a sign? Hello, hello. Where are you? Yeah, if you rotate the spear box, it stays on. Why isn't that the same thing for the EMF? I don't understand. Thank you. Touch this door. We check for fingies. Oh. EMF. No fingies. Please write in this, in this book. Yay! There you go. All right, just gotta ask him nicely. <laughs> it's gotta be polite. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? I, I don't know anymore what's going on with this ghost. Okay, well, it's, it's probably freezing then, huh? Can you please be colder? Come on. Door was that? Emma? This one? Oh, there goes the crucifix. It's not a spirit. Right? Not a spirit. Not a revenant. Not a Mori Diothe Miling. Not a poltergeist. It's gonna be a shade again. <laughs> I would say it's probably not a demon, given that it hunted relatively close to the crucifix sometimes. Maybe mare? And then it roamed because of the lights, I guess. Oh yeah, because they, wait a minute. Or was that specifically for Sunny Meadows? Didn't they fix something with Mare? I'm fine, Mare. The Mare, oh, it was only on prison cells. But the Mare has a long roam trait. They, they, look. The Mare long roam trait will now work in prison cell blocks, which, I mean, that's not relevant for us here, but that means that the Mare does have a long roam trait. <laughs> Uh, freezing. It's going crazy. Yes, let's go. Okay, it is freezing. Wait, it's a shade. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's another shade. Seriously. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, dude? This is unbelievable. The last, these last two rounds. These were the two most insane shades I've ever seen. It's gotta be, right? It's not a revenant. Unless it's a demon, but then I feel like I got scammed by the crucifix before. It could be a demon, but let's just go with shade. I mean, it's almost impossible. Is it just a demon? It did use the crucifix before. Hmm, 
it's hard to t hard to say. I did a hundred from the. Like, how can I really say here? If it hunts again, because it hunted down here before, right? It hunted from the that room, which I guess is far enough away. But if I put this here and it still stops to hunt, then maybe. Can you give me a sign? I'm not sure, because it wasn't early. Maybe they accidentally messed up their minus sign again, and they, like, made shades more aggressive rather than less aggressive. They've been doing that so many times. It's doing, it's doing a lot of airball ghost events, and supposedly the shades have a slight... It's, like, similar to how the Banshee will do singing ghost events. The shade will be more likely to do airball ghost events. Oh, come on. Well, okay. I'm gonna say shade. It's also didn't get stopped by that crucifix there. Um, it's insane that it is a shade, if it ends up being one. All right, buddy. Bye. Stop. Don't you dare. Stay back. Yeah, it didn't hunt immediately after the smudge stick. Like, it didn't hunt after 60 seconds either. I'm just gonna... It could be that last time was a really aggressive shade, this time was a relatively shy demon. But I'm just gonna go both shade. Because that was weird. There was just so many air balls. It was like three air balls. Was it? It was what the fuck? What the hell, dude? Favorite room changes seven, seven, seven favorite room changes. That is disgusting. That is fucking nasty, dude. That is one of the. That might be, in terms of like time, that might be some of the highest numbers I've ever seen. Like I've never. A, a game between 10 and 20 minutes having this many ghost room changes is absolutely insane. Alrighty, well, anyway, I think that's what we're gonna call it for the no evidence or, or no sanity with tier three items. Definitely a lot easier if you wanna see this challenge, but be, it'd be way more difficult than what this one was, then you should definitely check out the tier one video version of this one that I did a little while ago because, oh boy, uh, tier one items are so bad. Uh, it is very interesting how it works now. Basically, if you're starting out and you're terrible at the game, which that's not a, a, a stab at you or anything. I was terrible when I started. But when you start out and you don't know everything, you also have the worst items. Then as you get better at the game and you unlock more items, the game becomes way easier than it was before the update. So it's kind of interesting that now like new players are mega punished and like veteran players are having a way easier time but yeah let me know what you think i definitely think the items have been a massive improvements i love the tier three items especially the head cam thing is just like something completely new that we haven't seen before it's really cool it's fun to play with and i hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.